What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Coleon, and I'm back in the hood with another one. Well, y'all, today, I've been sitting around for a little bit. I'm thinking, um, i actually been thinking about this for a while. Um, so, it's really starting to kind of, like, weigh heavy on me a little bit. Um, I'm thinking about, uh... I'm thinking about selling the charger. I'm really thinking about selling the charger. Um, yeah, man. So, like I said, I've been thinking about it for a while. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get this camera set up real quick. Uh, I'm going to grab me a cigar, and I'm going to sit out here, and I'm going to talk to y'all for a second. So, I'm going to turn y'all back on in a minute. Alright y'all, this bad boy, get this bad boy fired up, so from my last video y'all already know, I'm a fat bottom Betty man, you feel me, so uh, yeah, get this bad boy fired up and I'm gonna talk to y'all for a second. <laughs> Yep, we jumping. Alright, so. Like I was telling y'all. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm thinking about selling my charger. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a while now. Uh, I know a lot of y'all probably like. Dang, bro, why would you sell the charger, man? You should keep it. Um, you know, if you sell it, you'll never find another one like it. If you sell it, you're going to regret it. All of those things are true. All of those things are true. Um, but I'm going to tell y'all the reasoning behind me even thinking about selling a charger. Now, it's obvious <clears throat> if you watch a lot of my videos, uh, why I would even think about selling my charger. I really enjoy the car. I like the car a lot. I love driving the car. Uh, it's a fun car. It's a fun toy. Um, but like I said, the obvious still remains, um, uh, as you see behind me, I only have enough garage space for one car. I only got enough garage space for one car. Uh, I'm just tired of paying this $110 a month for storage fees for the cutlass or the charger whichever I decide to put in storage um, you know that money adds up and that's money that uh, I could be spending elsewhere I bought the cutlass because you know with me getting older I mean I've taken the charger to a lot of car shows and I've enjoyed taking it to car shows uh, the car does get a lot of attention. Uh, it's a nice conversation piece. People, you know, ask me questions about the car and tell me how much they like the car and enjoy looking at the car and things like that. And, uh, you know, I do as well. You know, I, like I said, I love driving a car. I love 
um, looking at the car. Um, you know, I really enjoy this car. I really enjoy this car. But <clears throat> I'm getting older, and that's another reason why I bought the Cutlass is because, uh, you know, I'm getting to that stage in life to where I just want to have me a nice Sunday driver, you know, something that I can pull out, you know, in the spring or summertime, take the tops off. Me and, you know, the wifey, we go for a nice little cruise, enjoy ourselves, go out to eat, you know, enjoy what we ride in. We do enjoy the Charger every time we take it out. She loved the car. The kids loved the car. Um, you know, but I'm just getting to that point to where, you know, I kind of want to give up that fast life and, you know, uh, with the Charger, it's like every time you pull that car out, especially this car, because the way the car is put together, the way I put the car together, it just looked like it's in race mode all the time. So I can pull up at a stoplight or be on the highway and a scat pack will pull up next to me or a Mustang will pull up next to me or a Pontiac GXP will pull up on the next uh, pull up next to me. And all they want to do is race and burn rubber. And, you know, I, I'm i not on it. You know, I'm not really on it. Um, I know some of y'all probably asking the question, well, you know, if you ain't if that's not the type of person you are, then why would you buy the car? Uh, why would you slap a supercharger on it? Why would you do this? Why would you do that? I did that because, you know, it was something that I never had. I never had a supercharged car. I've never been a fast car person. But when a lot of my friends started buying, you know, 392s and Hellcats when they first started popping, you know, I seen how much fun they was having. And it was something that I wanted to experience. So that's why I bought the car. You know, so I can get out here and do hood rat shit with my friends. You feel me? So, uh, like I said, I bought the car in 2000, 2018. Uh, before that, I had another SRT8. Same color, same year as this one. And then before that, I had a 2012 RT. So, I sold the RT to buy an SRT8. And then, like I said... Uh, when I sold my SRT, I was going to buy the new uh, wide body scat pack challengers when they came out. But I ended up finding this car. And like I said, with the horsepower, the condition of the car and the miles, it was no it was a no brainer for me to, you know, purchase this car instead of getting the, the wide body challenger, which I'm glad I did, because when the challengers came out. Everybody had them. You know, everybody had them. Uh, same with the Hellcats. You know, everybody got them. You don't see too many of these on the street, if at all, in this condition. You know, this clean with the work that's done to it. And I knew me purchasing this car would set me apart from, you know, the route that everybody else was going, which was the newer Dodges. So, um... That's where I'm at. Like I said, I'm still debating. Uh, I'm still debating. Uh, but I think that it might be time for me to let this car go and let somebody else enjoy it. And the reason I say that is I don't really drive the car. The car is pretty much a, a garage queen. Uh, when I bought the car, like I said in my previous video, um, when I went to Chicago to get the car, it only had 11,000 miles on it. I drove it from Chicago to Dayton, Ohio, and it flipped over to 12,000 miles. So when I took the car to get it, um, to get the registration and everything done, I think the car had like 12,232 miles on it or something like that. Um, so between the time of me registering the car and now, I've probably put in, what, six and a half, seven years, I've probably put 5,100 miles on this car, if that. Somewhere between 5,000 and 5,100 miles on this car in almost seven years. 
So, like I said, I really don't drive the car. So, if I'm going to have a car that's just going to be sitting in the garage that I really don't drive, I would rather it be my Cutlass. You know, I would rather this car receive the attention that it need being the car that it is. Um, and I know personally I don't give the car that attention. I know it's kind of sounding like I'm talking about the car like as a person or something, you know, but I mean, it's a machine, you know, and these cars are built to be driven, you know, and uh, I don't want to be 50 years old talking about, well, I've owned this car for 10 years and I've only put 10,000 miles on it in 10 years, <laughs> you know, so uh, like I said, I think it's time for me to let the car go and let somebody else enjoy it. And uh that would give me time to enjoy, uh, you know, my cutlass a little more, you know. Uh, and plus, like I said, I won't be paying those $110 a month storage fees. So, uh, I mean, I could, you know, spend the money, you know, to build a add-on garage to the house or, you know, buy me a little garage unit to set on the side of the house and park the car in. But, uh if I do that, like I said, the fact still remains the car will sit, you know, because I'm pretty sure I would drive my Cutlass more than I would drive the Charger, you know. So, uh, yeah, I want to know y'all thoughts. So jump in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Um, y'all think I should sell the car, try to keep the car. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all should let me know what y'all think I should do. Um, that's just kind of like where my mind is, you know, I figured I, you know, kind of talk to y'all and get y'all's opinion on it and what y'all think. So, uh, like I said, jump in the comment section, let me know what y'all think. Uh, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, and punch that post notification bell so you know when I post another video. And, uh, it's your boy Coleon, and I'm out, man. Catch y'all on the next one. Yeah.